Welcome back to Black Forest Development Behind the Scenes. If you missed part 1, it's linked in the description below. This is part 2. I'm building a better fence system for the game, because at the moment walls, fences, palisades are treated just like buildings. So you just put down one and then the second, and this has all kinds of problems. They are difficult to match up exactly, difficult to encircle the whole village, so here's where we left off. I am now marking the beginning and the end of the fence and uh, as you can see there are still some problems. I changed some code and uh, this is what results in. Okay, fix that bug. It's much better now. You see there's still some offset, but that's easy to fix as well. And there's another problem. So that's how development goes. You fix one thing and the next thing appears, but it's getting better. So we're getting there. We're getting there slowly and now everything seems to be working quite well. So the next step is to actually build the fence when, when we click. And you noticed I can click everywhere now in the scene to start a fence. That's another thing I changed. And uh, it seems to be working quite well. I can click, I can cancel, start a new build, uh, cleaning all my stuff up properly. So here's the building. Select where you want to build, click. There's the fence. That's it. That's how it will be when you play the game. You just click, drag, click again. There's your wall. Perfect. That's where I want it to be. There's still some problems. Like you can see here, I can still build through everything. It marks it as red, but it doesn't stop me from building. All right, that's, that's fixed as well. And now we have some user interface. You see there at the bottom, tells you how long the fence is and which resources you will need, how many workers, how much wood, and on the stone wall, of course, it will tell you stone and metal. So that's it for now. I hope to bring this into the game soon, but it will still be a short while till it's ready. Bye bye.